<laughs> Out we go. Uh, that was funny. Okay, no oh more. Wow, okay, I guess we start right here. So I guess we'll go all the way to the end and then make our way back. That you can actually use to measure or look at the details oh, on wow. what you're getting. Did you just say are those coasters? It's like a coaster. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is it? Oh, those are hockey pucks. Hockey pucks. <laughs> Favorite card at your booth today? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, the middle one here. Um, Sign Otto Relic, uh, Cunha, 3 out of 10, National Treasures. Well, you might want to see what's in the box in my back. <laughs> That's what I'm going to show you here. Original 1977 oh, wow. Star Wars Series 1, full wax box, unopened pack. <gasps> yeah. I've never seen those before. Yeah, they're super rare. Wow, that's cool. Where'd you find that at? Uh, I picked it up at a card show in Lakeland. Oh. And uh, yeah, just picked it up recently. So okay. just Are you crazy. trying to sell it or you want to keep it? Um, a little bit of both. I'm going to actually go, I'm actually flying to Chicago to meet with Steve Hart. And he's going to authenticate it and then possibly buy it. Wow. Yeah. What does some of that go for? Uh, like in that condition, like seven, but when it's authenticated, it can go up to like 10,000 plus. I uh, picked these up earlier. Just uh, some some local card shows or uh, players here Jalen Waddle, yeah, Sam Howell, some Trevor Lawrence. Some nice dollar grabs. Yeah. yeah. Oh, these are some pricey cards here. Depends who you ask. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know, they right? Certain you? people. <laughs> I think they're all bargain. <laughs> What's your favorite card of your booth today? Um, right there. So look at this. That's depressing. So what they used to do too, this was some dealer's like mark. There's a little stamp on the back and that's how he marked his cards or whatever. Oh, that's cool. So, yeah, cool makes it worth yeah, right. <laughs> three bucks, but they didn't care about stuff like that, right? Yeah. Like back in the day with the comics and they used to date stamp everything. Right? Or with the cutouts, all the Marvel yeah, value stamp cutouts. Cut it's the worst. Out, like, oh. <laughs> Look at that. Some of these cards are expensive, huh? 75 bucks. I'm doing $40. What kind of packs are those? These are uh, base set volume two. Oh. Those gotta be kind of expensive, no? They are. I'm just trying to find the the price for them. What kind of cards could possibly be in those packs? Uh, that's the second version of base set. So basically anything you find in base set with the two on it. It's basically what can be in these. They're really rare to come by. The fact that he has a lot in front of me is kind of cool. Some illustrator autos in there, and we also have voice actor autos. Oh, okay. That's awesome. How do you get those done? Do they do those um, at the grading company? You submit them, or you get them done yourself? Um, so he actually went to all of the events. He travels around the uh, United States and goes and gets the actual signatures, and then we send them off to PSA. Oh, very so all of the signatures in here, besides this one that we literally just got this weekend, yeah, but or a couple weekends ago. We just picked up all of this right here in this lab case. I'm trying to organize yeah. it, but. These are kind of pricier though too. Oh, yes. you got the Charizard too? That's a yeah, cool one. Yeah, we just picked that one up. Can't figure this door out. Okay, so now we gotta go on the second floor, I think. Kind of what's most the minor rookie and not I usually buy some crazy cards. Yeah, this is definitely more intense than I thought. Yeah, and there's, I mean, we don't know much, so it's like, I don't know what to look at or... What's there's not a lot of Marvel cards either. And now it's on the second floor. Alright, here we go. Is this your binder? Yeah. It's just like, it's just stuff. And then it goes to like, Japanese yeah. Winter stuff. Did you pull all these yourself or did you buy them separate or...? Some of my childhood from my friends. And some I like training with the shops and stuff. Also training. Wow, what would you sell the whole binder for? It's the memories that I, I, I don't think I can sell it. 
it, it has value. These ones here, yeah, they're tag team. Oh, I love that one. I actually have this one here. So I'd be at 145 on both for cash. And then, That's uh, cool. Nice set. Like, yeah, yeah, so 145. So you'd be at 160. Nice binder, man. Thank you. Thanks for Thank showing you. me. Yeah, of course. Yeah, no, that's a piece of the uh, uh, the dress or the, the clothing of the, oh, of the actor okay. or the actress. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, it is cool. He has so many. This is like my kind of, so my kind of cards. Yeah, Sarah found some she yeah. likes. My stuff. It's cool stuff. It's cool. Look, these are original pages from like the 1920s. What was the one you were looking at in there? Oh, I was looking at uh, Marilyn Monroe little picture. That's cool. And then those are all like Irish from the old times and there's like little pieces of their clothing that they wore. So see, you got Lana Turner. And these are limited too, two ninety nine. Ginger Rogers. Look how cool is that? Yeah, they're all premium pieces. Yeah. Where did you get these from? We're all one collection. Uh, a museum went out of business. Oh, in really? Arizona. Wow, got lucky. Oh, so these were in a museum. That's, That's so cool. pretty cool. All oh, these are chaplain pieces. That Superman is cool, too. Oh, the Superman is definitely cool. This, this Superman is number yeah, one. Yeah. 1940. Wow. One year after the comic book. Two years. Two years after the comic book. <laughs> 1938 was Action 1, Detective 27 was 39. I knew it was close. <laughs> What's your favorite card at your booth today? I think that Patrick Mahomes is a good one I have. And... Diego Maradona, 10 of 10. Chinese edition. The only one approved by the Alpha. Double jersey number. Defensive and offensive reviews of the year. Mystery relevant, signed. Tags, patch ball, and then of course the jerseys. Have to be this. That one? Yeah. It's mystery relevant, signed. There's only two that you're able to find. The other one's also 5.1, but it has card damage. Oh. How long have you been in the cards for? Uh, since I was three. So, 10 years. There you go. What do we got? Cosmic Ball Pack. Pretty cool, actually. Looking backwards. Uh, there you go. Alright, you get do it? six poles. How about you do four and give him two? I would also have to He said no. Take your hand in there. Take him up a little bit. Flip him around, yeah. Let's see what we got. Oh my god! It's actually his favorite catcher. Are you serious? Good yeah. stuff, yeah. man. Let's he's go. a star catcher. He loves yeah, my job. still got five more pulls, man. Go for it. Absolutely. He got his favorite catcher. He got Piazza. Who's favorite catcher? Who's favorite catcher? Are you serious? Ooh, that's a cool I just car. met him a couple weeks ago. It's really cool. cool. Yeah. That's he did, cool. did, did oh, he a show in Garden. Oh, yeah, nice. Yeah, it was cool. Who was that? Mike Johnny Gaiman. Gaiman. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 Hey, oh. Nolan Ryan. Nolan Ryan. Nice. Man, you're pulling up some good cards in there, man. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Two more. 
No, no, you got three more. Three more. You got three more. You got four more, dude, because I'm not good at math, so you pull four. This is actually the gentleman who's I'm here shadowing him. This is his setup. I'm the I'm the game guy, you know what I mean? Like get the kids excited. Get to, yeah, they're more interactive than most people that you just walk up and fun. buy your card. Yeah. They love the wheel. Oh yeah, the especially wheel's all the kids. Like let's spin it, let's spin it for the camera. Just, all right, let's spin, just spin it. Just a nice spin on that. Yeah, let's see what we get. <laughs> I would call that either which one, whatever somebody wanted. Yeah. Because if you're like, you know what, you want the five Pokemon, take them, you want the, you know what I mean? So sometimes it's like right in the middle there, you know? How long have you been doing cards for? Oh my God. I mean, I got, I'm in and out of it. You know what I'm saying? Like there's times where I'm super into it. I, I, the first show I got back into doing was actually last year. I hadn't done a show in like 18 years. Oh wow. That was the first time in a long time, but it's fun. It's a good spin right there. I like it. And on that light flip. Oh. So that's a poke up. Hey, you can get your choice of one of those Pokemons, which is pretty cool. They're like 10 bucks, 12 bucks each. Let's see. Go for it, man. Good stuff, bro. Thanks, bud. Yeah, man. Appreciate it, man. Yes. Oh, thank you. Where do these like come from? Um, cigarette boxes. Okay, cigarette boxes. Cigarettes, cigars, chewing tobacco. Yeah. So here, I'll show you. So these are uh, film stars from different uh, chewing tobacco. John Player. Carreras. Uh, so they're all just like cut out from. They're um, were, were they like like that? They were. I think they're produced in the factory. Okay. Some are cut out. There are yeah. some. There are W five twelves that are cut out. Um, but they'll say hand cut. Um, so actually, at one point in time, they had a, a, a roll. So if you go in and you make a purchase, they cut one off and then hand it to you. So that's those are the those are the W five twelves, the um, hand cut hand cuts. These are Princess Elizabeth cards before she was queen. Oh wow. So this is uh, Wix and then uh, Godfrey Phillips Jubilee here. What do those go for? Uh, this is the rarer back. We're looking around 300, 250, 200, so between 200 and 300 dollars. They're not super expensive. At the time he picked me up, I had um, four out of the six nines. So that was the highest graded card. I had four of the top six. All of those have sold since. Wow, that's awesome though, right? Yeah. yeah. Like with all cards, the grade comes into play, but then, like you were talking about the back, you know, today you have all the different styles, then it was different companies would do different things, and so today, rarity in certain backs yeah. is going to increase your value because there were right. fewer of those produced. You want to see something really cool. This is the only one of this guy, of, of William McKinley in existence, that's the only graded one that's in existence. I've seen a couple of raws that are in great condition. Yeah. As we talked about, these are tobacco. Check this out. Very so. There is a Roosevelt that has two or three graded Roosevelts. But generally speaking, this is the only one of this particular card in existence. How did That's you find all these? Did you get these all in a collection or are these like the main things that you do? I, uh, this is what he does. This is yeah. what I do. In 2020, during COVID, I bought two cards and I sold those. She said only $200. I couldn't spend any more. So I spent $200, sold those, bought more, sold those. So this is about three years worth of work. The last two on here was 112 and 102. Uh, there's definitely more trading and like buying and selling going on. Yeah, well I would say definitely more event. trading, I feel like, than, than at a comic show. Alright, so that's a wrap on the card show today. It was definitely cool. We got to talk a little bit about the collection, get an idea for tomorrow when we go and check out the comic collection. We definitely had a great time. It was different, switching it up a little bit. Hope you all enjoyed the videos. Comment down below and let us know what you thought about the card show. Hey everybody, it is the next day. It is Sunday, the day after the card show, and we just picked up the collection. So I'll give you a look. Angelo's unloading the car right now. We are going to have to go back and fill up the car again as well as bring the second car because I think in total there's like 36 boxes. But we are really excited and I'll give you a look at what's going on. All right, so Angelo's bringing in the last of the boxes here. Yeah, I think we still have some more, but. <laughs> yeah, there. So I'll give you guys a little bit of a rundown. We 
did check out the collection. Obviously, we did take it home. We weren't able to record there because it was at a storage facility. And uh, he still has other stuff there. and We didn't want to give out too much information. But we picked up all the boxes. I think there ended up being 36 long boxes in total. We gave him, he, well, he gave us a really good deal too. Mm -hmm. It was 38.50 he was asking. He ended up taking 3,000 cash. So with everything we have, it's definitely newer stuff, nothing key issue. There's nothing like super crazy expensive, but I think it's gonna be great inventory for like a really cool, awesome dollar sale that we have planned over here in December. Was it December 2nd, right? Yeah, December 2nd, we plan on doing a house sale. There's so many books. I mean, look, we still have all these over here. Yeah, so we still gotta get all these out of the car. And then when we go back, it's going to be filled again. <laughs> and then I'm going to take Angela's car and hopefully be able to get a good amount of books in there. And we'll take it all home and uh, start going through it. But let me give you guys a look at what's in there. Here's some cool Venom, Venom 25. Some of it's Marvel, DC. I think it's more DC heavy. Um, and then he said like the other 35% is Marvel and Indie. But everything is in nice condition. So much variety, which is great for the house sales. So we're pretty pumped about it actually. You got some Spider-Man. There's a few, um, I think, not like complete runs, but I think there's a few sets. Oh yeah, there's a box of sets too. So there is a box of sets in one of these boxes. I'm not sure which one, but there's some sets that were put in, um, what are they called, poly bags? Yeah, there's... Yeah, like in poly bags and all kept together. All kinds of cool little books. I mean, I swear, there's some... Oh, he said there was no Batman New 52. Oh, there you go. There you go. Yeah, here's some new 52, and they're all in pretty decent shape. Yeah, so there's lots of great books in here. Well, so I don't know what's in here. I don't know if it's great stuff. Don't say that. You don't know what's well, in here. Well, great stuff for the price, I'm saying. <laughs> I mean, we're going to sell them for a dollar, so I'd say those are great dollar books. I have, I, I have to admit, I have no idea what's in here, so I, I don't know. I don't know if we got a good deal, if we got a great deal. I definitely don't think we got a bad deal. We paid $3,000 for over 33 long boxes of books. There's no key issues in here. It's all pretty much just modern stuff. There's a lot of sets and uh, we're definitely gonna have to go through it, but I don't know, comment down below and let me know what you think. It's definitely gonna be some good inventory for our house sale, so that'll be fun. And I think everybody else will have a fun time digging through it. I'm probably gonna go through these boxes a little bit, but for the most part, I think I'm just gonna put them out here. We still have a lot of stuff left over from the house sale. Yeah, so these think, are all the leftover boxes. Yeah, I think what I'm gonna do is put them all on the bottom and just fill the bottom up. And then we'll use all these as the new inventory for the top. And then, um, yeah, I have all this stuff too for whatnot. We're gonna start getting back on whatnot. So I don't wanna take too much time. We still have to go back and do the second trip. We gotta fill Sarah's car up again. And then I'm actually gonna have to bring my car to get the second load. And then uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. We'll bring you guys back once we get the second load. We have successfully got all the boxes. It's a little over um, 33 boxes. So here's what it's looking like right now. I gotta put about another 17 boxes right there. But definitely some awesome stuff. I mean, nothing super crazy cool in here. I gotta go through everything still. There'll be some good inventory for the upcoming shows. We got some Spider Man, some duplicates, Spider Man, Amazing Spider Man, Web of Spider Man. Let's see what we got in here. Uh, Batman, Superman, Detective Comics. I don't know, I think it's a cool little pickup. Complete modern collection. Ooh, Birds of Prey. Oh, there's number one in there too. Yeah, I gotta go through this. There's like sets of stuff. You still got some more boxes we gotta bring in? Yeah, look at it though. Yeah, it's huge. Yeah, it's gonna take up this whole area. But it's perfect because it'll fill the whole entire room. All right, so these are the last three boxes. Four. Just kidding. The last four boxes. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this collection. I gotta admit, it was super kind of, I don't wanna say last minute, but I didn't know if I was gonna be able to pick it up or not, obviously, because he had the other people come to look at it. I didn't realize though, I guess he didn't even have those guys come and look at it because he didn't have time due to the card show. So we were the first people that actually got our eyes on it. As you can see, it is a massive collection. It was old store inventory from an old comic book shop. I think it's definitely some great dollar inventory and it should be really good for the show we have at the house. Comment down below, let me know what you guys think. We'll see you in the next one. All right, time to eat lunch.